The Athens County Sheriff says the man fired at least seven shots at them, puncturing cruisers and even a pool. It happened at a home south of the city of Athens. 10 TV's Danielle Elias spoke with deputies and neighbors about what happened and why. Danielle. Well, Sheriff Patrick Kelly tells me he's still trying to make sense of it all. He says 34-year-old Franklin Green suffers from a mental illness and was out on bond for a prior incident involving his family a few months ago. Today, the sheriff says the deputies went there to his house to recover illegal guns and to arrest him. They were looking for Franklin Green. He uh, told me on the telephone that to take my guys out of there because there's no way that he was coming out of there other than that he was going to die here and somebody else was going to die. And the Athens County Sheriff says Green wasn't bluffing. At one point, he was trying to ricochet shots off of the walls to try to hit the deputies. In the aftermath, windows shattered and cars pierced by bullets, including that of Deputy John Morris. We were pinned down behind the uh, armored vehicle. He tells us he was out of his car when it was hit, but his canine Esco was still inside. I didn't know if he'd been hit or not, and uh, so I called his name, and uh, I saw the uh, antennas on my car moving. So. Uh, you know, at least I knew he was alive. Why didn't any of your deputies fire back? Well, they were not in a position from the back of the vehicle to fire on the residence, and knowing he was in there, we didn't know for sure whether there was any other people in the residence. And while all this was happening, neighbors less than 100 yards away were peering out of their windows, waiting and watching to see the gunman's next step. You never know where bullets going to end up. And so, kind of concerning. Deputies evacuated Pam and her husband, Larry, and their daughter's school bus was rerouted. It took several hours to arrest Green, but this couple says they're just glad to see everyone, including their neighbor, make it out alive. And we are told Green is still in the hospital tonight and will be taken straight to court tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Danielle Elias, 10TV News.